Today's the day I'm gonna answer some more questions. Yeah. Question time. What's up, Doodlebug? My name's Mary, and today I'm gonna answer some of your questions. What? First question is from Haley Medley. Mary, do you like anime? I have not watched anime in years, but I used to really be into it. Pokemon, naturally, was one of my good shows, but my go-to was Slayers. Lena Inverse, you're just so petite and angry and you can murder people in an instant and you do, but it's funny. <sighs> yes, anime is what I learned to cartoon with. So that's me. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I used to draw anime like crazy. Second question is from Patrick Seals. It's about my most recent painting that I did. It was for Picture Show, the brand new channel that went up. Links in the description below. Do, do, do. And this painting was a giant collage of film history from the dawn of cinema all the way up through YouTube. And Patrick asked, this is great. How long did it take to complete? Honestly, I don't know because I wasn't timing it. And because it was such a complex painting, I was taking breaks between each character so as not to smudge or, you know, prevent things from bleeding into one another and just looking gross. So there was definitely a two and a half, three day process of actually painting it. And there was probably about a week and a half solid of storyboarding, sketching, emails back and forth with the client because I'm working with somebody else and what they want. And so I'd come up with an idea and send it to them and they'd send back notes and things we could adjust it and changed. It took a long time. I guess. And the final question is from Jared Ferris, who was asking about that tablet thing that you can see in the background of videos. Hey, let's talk about some digital art equipment. So a tablet is a digital device that you can use to create digital art on the computer. It basically consists of a pad and a pen and you draw on the pen and it transfers over to the computer and it's awesome. Great tool to use, especially if you're working on complex projects or if you just like working digitally and like the feel of drawing, but it showing up in pixel form. This is the very first tablet that I ever got. This is the Wacom. I still don't know how to say it. Somebody was telling me and I don't know. Wacom Sapphire. I got this when I was a senior in high school, 2004. Now mind you, when you're using a tablet like this, you're drawing on the tablet, but you're seeing what you're drawing on a screen up here. This tablet has an active area that's about six inches by four inches. You can see I put a photograph of my two doggies in there. This was an awesome starter. I think it cost 100 to $150 at the time. It was an investment. It was the cool new toy that I got and it lasted me forever. I was using this long after I moved to LA and was doing freelance graphic design gigs. It is a wonderful workhorse. If you want to get a tablet, I recommend Wacom. Wacom is a good company. How do you say your name? They have really high-end, expensive, awesome professional tablets, but they also have some affordable ones that you can get. Bamboo, I've never used, but I hear that's a series by the same company that has very good and very affordable. Of course, that's kind of a small tablet, and after doing a lot of professional work, I saved up some money and I wanted to upgrade oh, to something bigger. This one has an active area of about eight inches by six inches-ish, give or take. It's a little bit bigger, which was an amazing upgrade, especially at the time I was doing a lot of graphic design and needing a tablet, so. That was well worth it. This is about $250, which was a little bit of a saving up for and an investment, but a great investment, especially if you're doing digital art professionally. Same company, this is the Wacom Intuos 3. So those are amazing tablets, they get the job done, fantastic. But if you're looking for the high-end Primo tablet, I recommend the big bad boy over here. Unlike those tablets where you're drawing on the tablet and looking up at the screen, this one, it's the screen that you're drawing on and it's as if your pen is making the marks, but in pixels on the screen. It's really cool. This is the Wacom Cintiq and there's cables involved. One downside to that thing is they advertise it as portable, which it technically is, but it's just got stuff. There's like three big cables. There's a box it all connects to. It's not that portable, but it is a great piece of equipment and kind of expensive. So I don't want to take it anywhere. I want it to stay in here where it can be safe and protected forever. And those are those crazy tablet thingies that you may or may not have heard of. If you've missed it or you haven't heard already, I have brand new prints at my Rodeo Arcade store and there's also still squid and ink prints available. There's two different designs there. If you want to go get them, go for it. If you already have or have no interest in them, um, ignore this. 
And if you're subscribed already, you've probably noticed that I'm vlogging every day in April. It's called VEDA. It's a thing that's going around. I learned it from Hank Green and I copy what I see. So every day I'm going to be posting a new video. If you have any suggestions or ideas, for video topics, by all means, leave them comments below. Also, I'll be doing more Q&A videos in the future, so if you have any questions that you desperately need answered, you can leave them in the comments below or go to my Facebook and Twitter and leave them there. Finally, the Friday Doodle. Pew! This Friday's Doodle suggestion comes from Dragonus Aelin, who requests I draw 25 people watching Canary Puppet Show. Every Friday I'm going to do a doodle based on the previous Friday's video. It can be inspired by a word, a phrase, a gesture, anything, and those suggestions come from you. So if you see anything in this video that inspires a drawing that you'd like to see, please leave that suggestion below and I will draw it next week. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm giving myself a mustache. Why is this happening? And I'll see you next Friday. I'll also see you tomorrow because it's Vader. So there. Ha!